thanks for tuning in. We just ordered the Pet Control HQ Safe Effective Humane Electric Dog Fence System and Remote Dog Training Collar. This originally piqued my interest because it's the electric fence system and the remote training collar in one. Um, typically, you get one or the other. Um, this is the first system that I've seen that does both with one collar. Um, so before we set everything up and get it going, I just wanted to show you guys what you get. Um, you'll get your transmitter, which is your handheld remote. Um, this is the receiver for the collar. Uh, there's also the collar itself and it comes with a lanyard for, whoops, a lanyard for the remote. Um, you get the boundary wire, the boundary flags, the boundary wire connectors, which are those orange things you see under there. Um, there's a resistor, or supposed to be a resistor in here somewhere. I have the test light. And then these things in here, um, there's a spanner and some long prongs so that you can switch those out if the ones that are on there, oh, and the resistor's in there too, um, so that you can switch those out if they're not long enough for your dog. Um, there's the adapters, the plug-ins, the cable, the USB cable, all that stuff. Um, and then you also get a um, operation guide, a little manual that tells you how to set everything up. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up and use it for a little while, try it out with our dogs. Um, the biggest thing for me with electronic fences and remote training collars both is consistency. Um, I do not want it to correct my dog when they're not doing anything wrong and I do not want it to fail to correct my dog when I need him to be corrected. Uh, the worst thing that you can do when training a dog, any type of training, whether it's obedience or boundary training, is to be inconsistent with it. So I don't want a system that's inconsistent so we will try it out. I will come back in a few weeks and let you know how it's working for us. Our chocolate lab, Sadie, has been enjoying our yard for the last few weeks uh, wearing her Pet Control HQ um, collar. We have had really great results. Both the uh, remote training collar as well as the electric fence have been very consistent. Um, the collar itself will fit dogs weighing 11 to 154 pounds with a neck size of 8 to 27 inches. So it's pretty versatile. Obviously, it's not going to do um, the really small dogs, but it will do uh, most sizes. The collar is rechargeable and waterproof, so if you do happen to have like a pond on your property or your dog's out in the rain or something like that, you don't have to worry about it. Um, one thing I don't like, it only beeps once before your dog hits the boundary and then it sends the static correction. Uh, past fences we've used in the past will beep multiple times or um, they'll beep slowly and then start to beep faster as you get close to the line. I like that. I feel like it's a little bit more of a warning than just the one beep. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Sadie responds to it well, but she has been trained on an electronic harness, uh, an electronic collar um, for years now. So, um, you know, I think that it, it was easier for her to recognize that that beep means that she needs to turn around and go back home. You can install the wire above or below the ground. Uh, you can customize it basically to suit your needs. Uh, we chose to do it on top of the ground. One, it's easier, and two, if the wire ever breaks or anything like that, you can find it a lot easier than having to dig everything all up again. It comes with 492 feet of 20 gauge wire, but you can purchase additional wire to expand it up to 10 acres. Um, the collar does have three levels of static correction with the fence, and then the remote um, has 10 levels of vibration and correction that you can adjust. You can add up to three dogs to the system, um, and then the remote has a one, two, and three settings so that you can uh, have it set at different levels for each dog and correct each one individually. The remote does claim to work up to three quarters of a mile. We've tested it. I think that's definitely accurate. Um, it's not as far as some training collars, but um, you know, I think that's a fine distance if you're doing boundary training in your yard. So this, the system that we have is the one collar with the remote, which was $189.99. Um, and you can get two collars with a remote for $229.99 on Amazon. If you shop around for electronic collars, you know, there's some that are cheaper, um, but you have to remember this is the two in one with the fence and and the training collar um, and it's consistent. I can say that now that we've used it for uh, a few weeks, it is consistent and some of the cheap ones you can buy for 40 or $50, the training collars are absolutely not consistent. So um, keep that in mind, electric 
fences, electric collars, you really get what you pay for. So um, if you guys have any other questions about the Pet Control HQ wireless electric fence and remote dog collar combo, feel free to send me an email, samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this video review.